Ben Roethlisberger has officially retired. What made him uh, a guy who's going to be in the Hall of Fame? Uh, what made him? Because now the debates are he has two Super Bowls. His stats are this. His stats are that. Then there's obviously the conversation about the the program he was a part of and what the defense was the entire time. I mean that's happening uh, on TV right now. Orlovsky's breaking it down. Yeah. What, it, what from a football standpoint? What made Ben Roethlisberger so good? I, I, I mean. He had some great days against us a couple of times. I mean, he had some. Martavis Bryant is still running, I think, oh. at one point. But what made him so great, you think, Chuck? He was a, a phenomenal freaking player. And my four years in Baltimore, you know, going up against him, you know, twice a year. I mean, the guy was, you know, a, a top competitor, so big and so strong that – you know, you could pressure this guy and you could go after him with four or five, whatever it was. And right when you thought you had, you know, him, you know, hemmed up, he's got two, three, four guys hanging off of him. And he's still got that ball in his right arm and he's still completing balls, you know, down the field. We lost one season. I think we lost all three games. His ability to extend plays like long before these, this new generation of guys, the Mahomeses and the Allens and things like that, this guy was so big and so strong and had such a great ability to extend plays and find guys down the field. You know, one year we lost, I think, both regular season games and the AFC championship game just on like extended plays, you know, him throwing to Santonio Holmes, you know, and the plays that he made to Heinz Ward and Antoine Randall, you know, and you can say, yeah, you know, um, the defense, this, that, and the other. That guy is a is a first ballot, yeah. Hall of Fame. I mean, with without question, you know, two Super Bowl wins. I mean, that guy. I mean, the play that he makes, you know, at Indy, you know, after the bus fumbles, oh, you know, yeah. the play that he makes to trip, oh boy, up and and win that game for. I mean, I mean, I could go on and on. The 522 yeah. pass yards he had on us and six tutties. You know, we went to Pittsburgh that year. I mean, the guy, the guy is just, he's phenomenal. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, anybody can say whatever they want. Getting ready, you know, to play against Ben and to game plan against him because he, he was never down. And we always told our guys, you know, if you come clean off the edge, just come under control, come to balance, just get him wrapped up, get his right arm. We used to say get his right arm wrapped up. So that his ball would be pinned against his chest, but he would—you didn't have the he right would arm. Throw it. <laughs> he would throw it around the arm, though. Grab and it you, on the other side and throw he it. He still had that thing. He was still making plays down the field. And I remember D backs coming clean off the edge, and we have free runners and Haruki Nakamura coming off the edge in Baltimore one year, and Throwback. he's got a free shot on him and just sidesteps him, gets out of the pocket, throws a touchdown pass, and we're like. What do you not understand about just coming under control? <laughs> <laughs> well, because even if you do that, he'll literally just stand with you on on. He was he just refused to go down. It felt like there for a long time, and we're watching old throwback highlights of him because a lot of people just see him now where he's throwing it half a second after it snapped, and he could still sling it. He used to be like quick. He used to be able to run and move. He it was always like a lumber, you know. Mm -hmm. It was always like a big ass lumber. But he was, no sneaky, sneaky, athletic, sneaky, fast. Uh, especially in the early years, um, his ability to, you know, hard count you, you know, even before like what Aaron does and he catches people, uh, you know, with 12 on the field, but backed up, he was the best at hard count and get you to jump and then throw one up for grabs. And most of the time it was a free play. And, and most of the time, every one of their route concepts would convert into this all go and he would just murder you with it. It's third and 14. You've told your guys earmuffs, earmuffs, key the ball, you know, don't listen to snap count. And what do they do? <laughs> and then they jump off sides. He chucks it deep to one of those speedsters, you know, and, and next thing you know, it's it's first and 10 at your plus 45, you know, fresh set of downs. Um, amazing player. Congratulations to, to Big Ben. Um, he tormented, you know, not only myself and teams that I was a, a part of for a long time, but but what a what a phenomenal Hall of Fame career he had. And I we don't know if he birthed this or not, but it is one of his favorite, you know, sign language signs. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah.
He does it all the time. And he even does it with a wave, and then he drops into it when he sees certain people. Uh, hi to you. Fuck you. <laughs> love you. See you later. <laughs> Hell of a run there by Ben. Big Ben Roethlisberger, officially retired. Now we have Tom Brady responding to Ben Roethlisberger's retirement in a beautiful fashion. Remember, we learned in a piece this past weekend on ESPN or NFL Network or Fox, one of the pregame shows, in an interview with his teammates, Tom Brady does do the tweeting. Although there's mm -hmm. probably some stuff his team creates. I believe it's Lion... Shadow, Shadow, Lion. Shadow, Shadow Lion is an incredible, they do a lot of, the, they are unbelievable. He's awesome. Yeah, very, very sure. talented. But Tom Brady does his own tweeting. He said, Ben defied the TB12 method in favor of the, ah, throw some ice on it, method, his whole career. And ended up an all-time great with six Pro Bowls and two Super Bowls. There's more than one way to bake a cake, says Tom Brady, in showing his respect and appreciation for Ben Roethlisberger's football career. Uh, did you get emotional watching that? I know your brother played with Ben Roethlisberger at the University of Miami. I know he's an Ohio guy. Uh, he, he was real rugged and tough and blue collar. Yeah. Probably a guy you absolutely love to you know, be a fan of and hated playing. What were your thoughts on Ben Roethlisberger's retirement? And is he a Hall of Famer? In our eyes he is, but I guess that is an actual conversation happening right now. I mean, I didn't think it was even a conversation. I thought Ben was absolutely a Hall of Famer and I don't like to jump into that argument because I don't know what the voters are looking at and whatever. But I, yeah, I think he's a Hall of Famer. Ben it's unbelievable what he was able to do for so long. I think it's cool with Tom tweeting that it's true. Like there's there's more than one way to go about it, man. Like everybody has to do what works for them. And this worked for Ben for a long, long time. So he um didn't I think Chuck told you he's like Ben is a sneaky athlete. I don't even think he's a sneaky athlete. Ben is just a great athlete. Like Ben can play all sports. I know I've said on here before, I think Ben was a great basketball player. He was a receiver, obviously, before he played quarterback in high school. So yeah, just uh he's a if you think of the Steelers, you think of Ben Roethlisberger. He's a great ping pong player, huh? I would assume he's really good. <sighs> good, good on Ben. Yeah. yeah. And if he wore that shirt that said different, you know, coming into the mm -hmm. one season. Mm -hmm. Everybody's like, oh, yeah. look at Ben. He's looking thinner. He's done. Just got a haircut and got tan. Yeah, that's yeah. it. He said, I haven't changed shit. I just want everybody to <laughs> yeah. know that. I mean, obviously, I've become more religious and I found the Lord. But when it comes to my body and maintenance, it's gotten me 17 years basically in the NFL. I'm going to continue to do what I got to do right now. Tone Diggs, what were you about to say? No, he's just going to be beloved in Pittsburgh forever. He said he found a home. He did. Boom. By the way, stay in there. By the way, AJ, we saw. I, I was watching uh, the NFL film slash Steelers put out a ten minute like recap of the career video. Rookie year. Wow. Oh, really? Rookie year. Oh, Ben did that. You know what? I think Ben did that in college, actually. Oh, really? He was sending love to Miami. Well, he. I know. I think Ben's Ben's mom died when he was young, and so I mean, his stepmom. He's a stepmom, but his mom died young. I think maybe that was to her. He did invent it, obviously. Aaron stealing it continued still still steals it right wow. you guys too <laughs> wow the fact that Ben's gonna Ben's sending a cease and desist soon I bet oh, well, especially if Aaron plays next year and Ben's sitting at home watching he's like, this son of a bitch does it every game yeah. <laughs> are you kidding me I mean, what are we what are we even doing here and I love the fact that you just broke some incredibly serious news to us I think all of us yeah. and then ended it toxic toxic you know and that's that's what you oh, can so he's, I think he was honoring his mom like it's terrible awful but I think that's what maybe started it well, it's cool. I'm happy he does it because it has become synonymous with Ben Roethlisberger, and it's a positive message, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's a positive message. Love. love. Come on. I love you. And like Chuck said, I'd be surprised if he wasn't first ballot. Yeah. Well, Barry Bonds isn't in. That's right. I hope yeah. Ben does TV. I don't think he's going to do TV. Why? He might pop up here and there. That'd like be awesome. local radio. What if he did local radio oh, in Pittsburgh? That'd be with a Mad Dog. With double M. Mad, Mad dog, dog moving to Pittsburgh? What Not Mad Dog. <laughs> double yeah. M, I meant. Mad oh, Mark? Oh, man. Mark Madden's not going to be happy that you confused him with Mad Dog. I didn't confuse him. Ah, yeah, a little bit. 